Hey folks, PC7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for dropping by. We're uh, here having a look at another Giants game today. Yes sirree, the people that brought us Farming Simulator also brought us this little gem. This is Ski Region Simulator, currently available on Steam at a heck of a good price. And quite frankly, if you like the Farm Sim series, you probably wouldn't mind spending a few hours mooking about with this. So, with that said, let's have a look. Now, one thing, um, Focus Entertainment was not the producer Astrogon was. So, you will notice some stuff's a little different, i.e. They released two DLCs for it, both of which are included in the Gold Edition, which is available on Steam currently. Um, beyond that, there wasn't really much support. They put, um the modding kit, the editor, all of that in there. There was a small modding community and pretty much um, a whole lot of conversions from uh, Farm Sim 11 ended up in this game. And it's worth looking around on the web. There's some really good mods. There's maps, there's um, pretty much every bit of gear. <laughs> a farming simulator was converted here. Um, in fact, this is such a similar game that, yeah, there's even a PDA. And one thing I do want to do here, though. Um, here's your escape menu. It shows you the different ski slopes. We currently own this one, number 8, called the Rookie. Here's different stations. Now, to own a ski slope, and you can see the lines, you must own a station at the top and the bottom. Which is kind of interesting, because a lot of um, slopes share stations. Okay. Like, if I wanted to get another ski run at this point. I could in fact buy just a single station, the hogger, right there, and because I already own West Mat, the top one, I would get this run in between. Right? So there's your station layout. And then hotels, this is another way you make the big bucks in this game. You buy hotels, you set up your fees, whether you want them family-oriented, singles-oriented, party, blah, 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 and uh, make a bunch more money. Now, here's your stats. As you can see, we have nothing of nothing because we've done basically nothing. And I was just born 7% popular. I've done nothing to make that any better, let me tell you. And finally, we have time scale. I want to go real time. Mission frequency, because yes, there are missions, help icons, etc., etc., etc. So, yeah, it's going to look very familiar to those of us that. Um, now, I don't know why those have all suddenly gone red. Um, to those of us that have played Farm Sim. So, let's uh, continue. Ski slopes. And this is, in fact, our actual slope. This probably tells us about grooming. Oh, arch rays. Oh, right. And that's how you know what sort of condition your uh, slope is in. It gives you information up in the arches. Our first piece of gear is actually this little piston bully here with a plow on the front and a groomer's tool on the back. So, welcome to Stutzmat. It's the name of the place. And... Ski Region's version of horseshoes are garden gnomes. So there's a hundred of them you have to save throughout the map. Uh, starting stations, again, as I said, if you buy a station at the top and the bottom, you get the slope in between. And of course, there are managerial options for these stations, right? Recommended price, 16 bucks. You can exceed that, of course, and as you become more popular, you can start really cranking these up. And they will eventually do a little better. Right, or you can sell them from there. Same help system as Farm Sim. You get on the phone and dial up the old Help Institute. Opening hours. Now here's something that's a little different. The place is only open from seven in the morning until eight o'clock at night. I'm sorry, ten o'clock at night. So you can't really do much else in between. Right. Ah, missions. Slope grooming. Is in poor condition and should be groomed. See. Groom cost, assistance, total cost. So, they expect us to do that, but we're actually not going to at the moment, because I want to show you a little more of what's going on. Um, the other way you can make money in this game is you can actually run the lifts. Um, yeah, the, the, some of the slopes have lifts. And 
hotels, as you can see. And if you wanted to buy one, you'd go here, and it would tell you all about it, and what it can do. This one's 30 guests an hour, costs 120, etc., etc. And once you own one, the parameters... Ooh, another note. The parameters start to... Uh, you can change things, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, one of the missions will have you uh, plowing snow out of places like this parking lot, etc. Um, there's missions to rescue skiers. So that's... Uh, there's missions to run supplies. So the rescue skiers is your mowing missions, the run supplies are your, in fact, run supplies missions. And you do all of that, hopefully not with that piston bully, because it would take you all day. I don't quite run as fast as the cars. Um, but generally by buying yourself a better vehicle. What do we got here? A salt depot. You can uh, pick up salt here for salt spreader trucks. Because that's also a mission. When you plow the roads, you can salt them. You can also uh, fix uh, bald spots in slopes by using snow blowers, snow cannons, I guess they call them. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different ways to uh, do things here. And of course, rescue missions, where you take whatever vehicle you have up one of the mountains and rescue down skiers, etc., and take them to the helicopter uh, rescue area. So here is your store, very reminiscent again of Farm Sim. In fact, some of the same assets were brought over here. This is your vehicle dealer. Same building, same doors, same pop machine. But here, rather than cardboard cutouts, they actually uh, put some unusable, but nonetheless real assets in. So, let's uh, go here. Now, of course, we don't have to. You can't. Exact same key as Farm Simulator. And here's some of your vehicles. You got a couple of different piston bullies, a little 100, a little on the low end, right? And then for 400 grand, you can get the big 400. So uh, the different gear for your piston bullies, then you've got this guy. And a couple of snowmobiles, some loaders, the Lizard Lynx vehicle with its different attachments like snowblowers and stuff. Right down to Dutes Igatron tractors, Lizard salt spreaders, wheel loaders. Uh, one of my personal favorites. Uh, the Lizard ATV. This is usually the one I buy for most of my missions because these here's your straight up vehicles but you've also got tools. Trailers. Uh, transport sled. You use these for your transport missions, most of them. Um, and then your rescue stretcher, a very important piece of gear to have. And then a couple of tippers. And then a space for mods, because the game was very moddable, and as I said, you did actually, um, there were some mods introduced. A lot of FS13, or uh, 11 stuff was converted. So here's the little toy we just bought. So you can see the graphics are certainly more um, FS11 than FS15, that's for sure, but there we go. You can go first person, although, <laughs> a word of warning, it uses the same motion stuff as FS11 did, so bumps don't seem to make the vehicle jag, your screen actually does. So it can get a little bit nauseating in the first person, is I guess basically what I'm trying to say. See, here we go. Now we're actually getting into some of the... Uh, a little bit of choppy stuff there, and you can see the way it bobs and weaves. And, uh, a, a quick question, let's have a look at this. Can any of you people out there tell me where the heck there's a 260 plus gallon gas tank on this thing? <laughs> Just thought I'd bring that up. Because, yeah, apparently we have 268 gallons of fuel. Word of warning, Unlike the tractors in Farm Sim, you can blaze through fuel pretty good in these little things. Whoa! Alright, I can apparently drive right over the blades of my piston bullet. So let's take a look up our slope and we'll go have a look at the, uh, the other end of things. Because we also own, we are, the station at the top. In this case, this one. So, the other way, your uh, stations 
get better by adding other buildings like snack bars, ski rentals, information booths, etc. And you get to add three to each station. And you can swap them out and change them and sell them and do all that good stuff as well. So, that's kind of the rundown of it. There is enough to keep you quite busy. Um, I would say that the missions get a little bit repetitive. But, in all honesty, no more so than they are in any of the farm sim videos. Uh, same with slope grooming. Just think of plowing or cultivating a field, but it's only like 40 feet wide. It just happens to start at zero feet of elevation and climb five or six thousand. As you can see, some of these hills get pretty darn steep. Like, we're, uh, we're a ways up from the old village now, guys. Indeed, whoa There we go, a little bit of a shed here But that's not the top of the Yeah, they go and they go And they go Day-night cycle, just like farm sim Um Yeah, what can I tell you It is uh, A worthy enough little game And like I said, right now they're having a pretty good Sale on her on Steam so you can see, we're not actually at the top yet. There's a few more runs before we reach the top. But we have another station here. And if it were during opening hours, which it isn't quite yet, we could uh, go over to the markers that have this tram on them, and it would actually allow us to run the tram, which is another way to make money. You have to be really careful, not too slow, not too fast. You try and balance how much terror the passengers are feeling with uh, the amount of uh, speed and timing it takes you to get up the hill. And yeah, there are, just like in Farm Sim, if you think you'll survive it, you're more than welcome to, uh, whoa, use less than optimum routes to get down the mountains. You don't have to stay on the slopes. <laughs> You know, just know that, uh, I also like Farm Sim, this isn't exactly uh, top-level physics, although it works more than well enough for the game. I mean, it wasn't, uh, they don't expect you to go careening off the cliffs at every chance, right? So. But there you go. That's, uh... And yes, I'm here strictly to try and do something rather silly. Oh, I was too late. I missed the train. Oh, well. We'll have to uh, save the train jumping for another time, I guess. <laughs> but, there you go, guys. This has been Species 7. Have a look at Ski Region Simulator. Oh, and I am truly hooked now, because that's a dead end. Yeah. The other end's a dead end. <laughs> and the next time a train comes along, it's not going to be so good for us. Not so good at all, I'm thinking. But, there you go, guys. I will do... Uh, whoa! Oh, God, I just about jumped out of my chair. Uh, <laughs> I will do a... Cut. Yeah, guys, moving. I will do a couple more episodes at least, and maybe if you guys like it, we'll do a series. But let me know. The comment section is open and available to all, of course. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Let me know what I'm doing wrong. Let me know what you'd like to see. And uh, as always, well, I'm out of here, so take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.